Okay, now we have our tab, our bottom tab navigator in our app. So I just added two extra screens like we created earlier of activity, profile, upload, search, and home. So now you can see each one of them goes to a different page. You can see that it changes the component every time you select it and it's focused. So it's highlighted the one tab that you're on. But we don't want to use the text there. We want to have some icons. It just looks a lot nicer and that's what they do in, in Instagram. So in order to do that, we're going to leverage Expo. So this is something that Expo makes super easy. Um, it's already pretty easy in React Native, but it's basically, we don't have to install anything when we do um, Expo, and we have a huge list of icons we could use. So if we go to Expo documentation and search for icons, we'll find these vector icons. And you can see there's a whole list of icons that we could use. Uh, there's different types of home icons. Um, there's we could use search. So we could use all these for each one of our um, each one of our tabs on our bottom tab navigator. So the way that we use this is these import ion icons from vector icons. So we're going to do that in the tab navigator and. Right now we're just passing in the whole component itself, but uh, there's a lot more features to React Navigation than just this uh, passing in the component and the tab. So instead of doing this, we could do screen equals, so we're going to put this on another line so it's easier to read. So this is basically the same thing as the one below. So if we re reload our screen, it's the same thing. Um, it's just more explicit, and it also allows us to do navigation options, which is gives us more options to customize the bottom tab navigator. So we could do tab bar label, and that's what this label is. So right now it's defaulting to home since our title of our component is home, but you could also just make it whatever you want. So right now we just changed it to whatever. It's still referencing the same component, but it's just customizing a little tab. So we don't have to like do a bunch of CSS or uh, weird things to get it to change. Um, you might want to change the name depending on your, your scenario. Uh, but right now we just want to keep it blank, honestly. Um, right now you can't see anything and you can still tap on it, but you can't see it. What we want to do is replace it with an icon. So we could do tab bar icon, I believe it is. And that takes in a function. And then we want to check out how we use these icons. So we're already importing the ion icons. And we just want to use uh, the component ion icons. And it takes in the name, which is where we could find in the vector icons directory a size and a color. So we're just going to copy and paste this to see if this works. So this is just a check mark that's green. And reload, not showing up. So let's see what we're doing. Okay, tab bar icon. So if I before I said this is the code I already wrote to build sell that, uh, so that I had a better idea of what I was going to build um, for this. But let's see, maybe we need to pass in focused. Oh, actually, you know what I have to do? We have to rerun this. I think since we're using icons. So you can see down here, this is, okay, here we go. So there's already a change. So there was some other changes for React Navigation version three versus version two. Tab bar icon is probably a net mm -hmm. But in this case, who's on tab bar?
So let's try a different icon. So we're going to go up to the icons, icon directory. Let's try for home. And we're going to use an ion icon. So we're just going to do iOS, iOS home. So that's what we used in here. I'm going to use single quotes just because I like single quotes better than double quotes. There we go. Let's see. Why was that not working? Ah, okay. So, I guess that's one of the issues with Okay, so that was one of the issues with JavaScript. I don't get a ton of information back. It just fails silently. And that's because I was using curly brackets instead of these brackets. And if I change, there we go. Our icon shows up. Of course, it's something dumb like that. Um, so now we have an icon of home for our home page. And now we can do the same thing for search, upload, activity, and profile. So we could just, we'll just copy and paste real quick and change the naming. So we do search. We look for a search icon. iOS search. So in Instagram, the middle button is a plus. So we could use so these all all these icons are here, and you can see the different types on ant design and typo feather. So you have to make sure you're importing the right uh, icons. So right now we're importing ion icons, so we want to make sure we're using the ion icons uh, or else they're just not going to work for the other ones. So let's see. Google Plus? No. Maybe let's do add. No. iOS add circle. That works. Maybe upload. Profile. Person. Okay, I was person. And I'm actually drawing a blank on what, oh, the heart for likes, obviously, so iOS heart. Okay, let's look back on our app. And there we go. They're a little, we need to change the sign a little bit of them, but we can do that in navigation options for the entire tab navigator instead of each tab individually. Um, but right now, that's exactly how we want it to work. Each one of them goes to the right page. Um, and then also we can do a little other thing and then we could actually pass in focus. So this is specific to React Navigation. And this just tells you if it's focused, then use the different icon. So as you can see down here, we're just have to pass in, we do person. So let's try this one. So what this is, it's just an inline if statement. So if focus, we have to actually pass in focus to this one. 
So if focused is true, that means you're on that page. So you want to highlight it. So it'll be like this icon. But if you're not on this page, which is false, then you want to do the outline of this person. So you can see that in action right here. Of course, that one doesn't work. Okay, so this is actually a change that just happened from uh, the last week. So let's see, I have iOS heart and heart empty. This is a good one. So just going to do iOS person for this one. We're passing focused. Question mark. If focused, then iOS heart. Else, which is a colon, iOS heart empty. Now this one should work. So now you can see it's highlighted and it's empty. So in the most recent update, they kind of changed the things around uh, in the newest version of the icons. So that actually kind of screwed me over when I went to update it, upload it to the iOS store. Uh, I had all the right icons, they all worked correctly. So you can see the search, home is highlighted, heart is highlighted, profile is highlighted, that one's highlighted. <laughs> but they made an update, so once I did an expo update, uh, it rendered some of the icons that I had previously used uh, broke. So I would keep that in mind, just small things. Uh, you're rarely ever going to update Expo that often. It's every couple months, and you don't even have to do it. Everything should be backwards compatible, um, but other libraries might update as well, aka the Expo Icons library, depending on which version of Expo you're using. Uh, so a little bit annoying, but I would keep that in mind. Uh, but here's a good example of using navigation options. You can name these labels whatever you want. Uh, let's go back to our own app. You can name it whatever you want, or you could just keep it empty like we do now and just use icons. And so we're going to keep on customizing this as we go. Uh, and we're going to use it in different parts of the app as well and add different React navigation to different parts of the app. So it's super easy to get in and out and navigate throughout our app uh, as we add more and more pages.